Maniacs, welcome back to the channel. This is not going to be a special video. It's not going to be wildly edited. It's not going to be insane. But we are going to talk a little bit about the controversy that's happening with Project Fear. Project Fear is being bombarded. Their Twitter, they are being absolutely annihilated. And we're going to talk about whether I think it's justified or not. To be blunt, I'm just going to be honest. I don't think it's justified. I don't think they deserve this amount of hate. But I can understand why they are receiving so much negativity right now. And it's because the world has had enough of Satori and Cody in the sense that they've had enough with watching these guys take advantage of people. And basically, you just re had everybody relive the controversy all over again. Everybody was completely done with Cody and Satori. The Conjuring series was put to put to bed for the most part. All of that controversy and all that BS watching Sam, watching Colby cry and being taken advantage of was completely done. And now another beloved group that a lot of people have a lot of respect for come out with another video. Guess what? Filmed around the same time Sam and Colby got taken advantage of. And now we're watching these guys, these nice individuals from what I can tell, get taken advantage of. And it's reliving all the BS over again. And it's not fun. You even stated in the opening of your video that you were completely, you are now completely aware of the controversy. You weren't at the time, but now you are. And yet you still decided to post the video and even teasing an interview with Satori and Cody. But I'm kind of wondering, was that interview filmed more recently or was this interview filmed around the time Sam and Colby did their week at the Conjuring House? Because if that's the case, there's really no point of posting this interview because we already know what they're going to say. Because all of the response videos around that time w were posted around that time were exactly how they felt at that time. So why would your interview be any different from what they've already told everybody? Everybody is 100% convinced, for the most part, there are some people out there who still believe in them, and that's fine, I'm not judging, but there are most, for the most part, people are completely aware that Satori and Cody are nothing but fake, and they are taking advantage of people's deceased relatives and, and, and using that for self-gain, and it's horrible, it's wrong, and you kind of made your audience relive the bullshit. Yet I can understand the the upset audience you have right now. Especially if a lot of your audience are probably Sam and Colby watchers and they probably understand and they're probably tired of it and I can understand it. I can. I know I'm repeating myself, but and I don't think Project Fear are a bunch of bad people. I think these are good people. But when you post this video, this video is pointless to post. It, it just unfortunately was. There's really no investigation. We learn the history of the Conjuring House and then we slowly move into Satori and Cody doing exactly what they did in Sam and Colby's first episode. And it's draining at this point. It's just draining for a lot of people. Now, I like to talk about this stuff because I think they took advantage of a lot of people and they're still continuing to take advantage of people today. Again, I'm not someone who's wishing ill will upon them, but I do talk about when it comes up. And this is another situation where they have been brought up. This would have been filmed around the time that, you know, of course, the Hell Week stuff came out. And at that point, I was 100% believing in Satori and Cody. I didn't question anything. But now I know what I know. Now I'm just pissed off that I'm seeing more investigators going out of their way or to just talk to these people. And it's sad also because the first time around, Sam and Colby didn't do their research on Satori and Cody. But now something tells me Project Fear didn't even bother doing their research on Satori and Cody. They'll do the research on the property, but they won't do the research on Satori and Cody. Are, are one of these investigators actually going out of their way to investigate the people they collab with? Do you, do you just not care? Do you just Are you just going to accept everybody who just... I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit, uh, again, this video, I watched it this morning. I'm a little bit annoyed. If you want to go see that reaction, you guys can. You can get my personal, I go on a rant, a full-on rant. Um, there was good that came out of it. Obviously, we got to see a little bit more of how Satori and Cody talk behind the scenes. And that was very interesting to hear what Cody had to say, which was kind of creepy. If you're a paranormal investigator, you need to be aware. These guys, in my personal opinion, are not honest. They are beating around the bush of their method. They're not going to, if you have any questions, if you have any lab experiments or tests you want to try with them, they're not going to do it. I'll promise you that now. They're not going to do it. Bam. They, they've, everybody who works with these people have been bamboozled and they can do it with a, a straight, a straight blank face on them. And it's just, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. So if you're a paranormal investigator, I don't want to have to be the person to tell you this. I'm a 24,000 subscriber channel, but guess what? You are going to be fucking bamboozled, taken advantage of. Don't fall for it. Just don't work with them. Please, because you're just going to make repeat, you're just going to make people repeat the same bullshit again and again and again. 
because they're just going to take advantage of you and you're going to cry on screen. And at that point, if you're doing it to yourself, I'm not going to have any sympathy for you. You should be aware by now that these guys are con artists and they're going to be taking advantage. And if you do hire them for your video, people are going to start thinking you're a con artist because you're willing to work with somebody who's under suspicion of being insanely bad con artists. Don't work with a con artist. Rant over, but I don't think they deserve the hate that they're getting. I understand why it's happening to them, but I don't think they deserve it. I I'm curious to know what else comes out through this. Uh, Project Fear, if you ever see this video, I'm sorry I'm going on a rant right now, but it is sad to me. It is sad because I watched your video and I just immediately felt the anguish. I felt the pain of just knowing everything I know now and watching you guys go through it now. It just, it's, it's remotely, it's not fun. It wasn't a fun experience. I don't know why you waited this long to post it. Three months after, it was around two, two to three months ago when the controversy was even happening. So you shouldn't have not have waited as long as you did. You should have posted it around that time. But posting it now, when, when everybody was already settled down and calming down from the whole Satori and Cody shit, and it gets brought right back up. It's just another investigation where, guess what? A beloved group of people get it taken advantage of, and it just sucked. It just sucked. All right, guys, that's a bit for me. I'm sorry. I went on a little rant there. I'm not sure how much I'm going to edit of this. I'll probably edit a bit of it. Uh, comment down below what your guys' thoughts are. I'm curious to hear your opinions. What do you, why do you think they are getting so much hate right now and heat for this video? Let me know in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one.